What's up guys, it's Carlos. I'm here with Jordan at yep. the Concept Knives booth at SHOT Show 2020. This is probably the first time we've actually been to a booth where all of the knives in Concept are still pretty much prototype ready to be released stage. Yep. So this is all zero day concept right here, yeah. which is kind of tying into the uh, the name, which is fitting at the moment. <laughs> so um, Jordan, um, from what I see, there's a lot of different knives here. Um, being that it's a new knife company, um, kind of show us you know, a little bit about these models and uh, see what's gonna be coming out first, maybe something that's gonna be coming out a little bit later uh, uh, you know, in 2020, and uh, what you like about that. So everything will be released 2020. Uh, just to start off, everything on the table is all S35BN, just so there's that. We can start off with the, uh, we actually have a demo still here. The Gremlin, marbled carbon fiber, small flipper, frame lock, ball bearings on everything. So, uh, about the knife that you went ahead and you picked up, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, so, you mentioned that there's a, the dam steel and the, carbon fiber. and the carbon fiber. Now, is this G10 in carbon fiber in here inlaid, or is that just standard carbon fiber? It's a marbled carbon fiber. Oh, wow. So a, little bit, okay. a little bit of the G10 to give it that actual uh, the colorization and be able to get the different cut. I like that fiber. pop on there yeah. too. That's that's actually really nice, and it's a nice sturdy frame lock. And the uh, the clip looks like it's been milled really well. Uh, it's got the titanium uh, handles yes. as well. Nice flick. Uh, I would assume that the Gremlin is on bearings. All, everything, uh, all flippers, the, all flippers will be on bearings. Fantastic. And judging by this action, I mean, you can really feel yeah. it's it's silky smooth right out the door. So nice. Um, so. Have they talked about the pricing for these knives yet? So starting out with, if you have the full package damage steel and everything, you're looking closer to the 400 range. Wow, okay. So it's catering so, to the, the luxury knife yes, market. Yes, it is. Okay. So then if you move down, you move down the line maybe here, you're looking closer 160, 170, just to start out, more of the basic Gremlin. Now, touching on that particular Gremlin that you just picked up, that caught my eye because uh, this looks like smooth micarta. It is. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of uh, variation between uh, the knives, not only in um, just the look of the knife. I see some that are that are in black. Some might be anodized, um, but the, uh, the the materials might be different. I saw some carbon fiber there, some G10, and uh, let me see here. The is this uh, smooth micarta? Yes. Okay. It looks really, really good. I mean, it's got a nice smoothness in the hand, and I like how the fact that it's it's kind of um, it's placed into the titanium handles. It's not just one slab that you typically see yeah. on a lot of other knives. So it looks like that concept really took its time into thinking. Okay, let's do something that's you know that, that's, that's with the material changing the market. Yeah, it's and similar what? but something different. different with the inlays. Definitely, it definitely a standout on that. Um, Judging from what I see here on the table, all of these knives seem to have been designed by the owner, Kim Ning. Yes. Um, and you said S35VN steel on all of these. Yes, it is. Okay. So there was another knife that happened to catch my eye. I noticed a couple of flippers, but this one just, I mean, these handle scales are calling to me. Uh, from what I see right here, um, I believe this one is called the Agent? Yes. Okay. It's the Agent. Nice. So tell me a little bit about this knife. So, like I said, it's S35VN, flipper, ceramic ball bearings. Now we have the uh, inlaid inlaid cut on the titanium. That looks really nice. And it looks like it's been anodized blue to kind of differentiate from the handle scales. Um, it also has the titanium, uh, a, a little backspace right here at the bottom with the, the lanyard attachment. And uh, judging from the looks of it, I know that it shows that in blue, in blue, I'm not sure if maybe the company is gonna offer different col uh, colors throughout the year, but something you can definitely do as a bit of a DIY, a DIY is uh, maybe even differentiating the backspacer from the handles is um, uh, putting some anodization on this and maybe changing the color, something in a nice bright blue or a green, uh, you know, something to kind of set it apart from just the standard uh, titanium. So I think it's that's one thing I really like about using yes. titanium as yes. in the handles. It's nice and light, you know, into which you guys went ahead and made it even lighter with the milling in here. And then you can kind of set it apart with that two-tone look, or you can just anodize it all. So I think that's a really nice uh, concept. <laughs> uh, so it's all about the end user, what they want. You know, they look at it and say, oh, you know, I can, I can mod this. Let's mod this. Change it up to what they feel like is, uh, fits them. 
and this is the agent. Okay, Jordan, now onto something with a bit more of a unique uh, look to it and a Tonto blade shape. Yes. We have here the Warrior. So tell me a little bit about this guy. So this one's the only thumb stud one that's coming out so far. It also is inlaid on the front and the back. That is also the only one like that. Very nice. I noticed that there's a little bit more detail that's done to the uh, the titanium. It looks like a lemon peel uh, yes. style finish. Is that what they call it? Uh, orange peel. Okay, close. close. <laughs> ah, lemon peel, orange peel. Sorry, guys. It's a citrus. It's a citrus. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. I was close. All right. So this comes in a carbon fiber. And from what I saw here, you can get the black handle with the marbled carbon fiber, uh, both in a Tonto blade. And for those that are not really into carbon fiber, but really dig the design of the knife, you guys have a micarta version as well. So that's really, really nice. I'm a big fan of micarta. Um, I mean, whether it's smooth or, or, or rough, somebody could actually take these scales off, kind of uh, brush them a little bit and, and uh, roughen up a little bit to kind of give them more grip, which is great when you're putting it against something smooth uh, like titanium. So that's something that I t typically like and I prefer over just standard titanium. So when they're both together, I think that that's going to make a nice, a nice duo. So that's a pretty cool concept that you guys have here with, uh, with the Warrior. So we talked about anodizing some titanium in one of the models. Uh, I see one over here that looks like it's already had a little it's bit of anodizing done. And I'm looking at a bit of a copper inlay action yes, going on over here. Inlay. Okay, so what, uh, can you tell me a little bit about this model? What's the name on this guy? So this is a shard. Like a, like a piece of shard, not a shark. S-H-A-R-D. <laughs> yes. Okay. And um, it looks like the, uh, the anodizing is on both sides and the clip. Also a... Um, a frame lock, S35VN. Correct. Um, and Ceramic ball bearings. Nice. One thing I really liked about this is there is the cutout with the fuller uh, towards the, uh, the, the the top of the blade, and it has that awesome sheep's foot design. It's kind of like a a, um, a modified Warncliffe going into a sheep's foot. I think yeah. it's more Warncliffe than sheep's foot. But one thing I really like about this knife that stands out, aside from the fact that it's unique and it's going to patina with the copper, is that you have that that um, reinforced tip so that if you have to make those cuts for more utility, kind of go in and like kind of really work, I think that the blade shape is gonna lend itself really well to some of those tougher tasks. Yes. And um, I, this, out of, out of all the blade shapes that I've seen here, I think that this is actually one of my favorites. It's nice to see that it's something different with the copper and the, uh, the anodized titanium, but from what I see here on the table, uh, there are a few other ones. There's the, um, let's see here, there's the carbon fiber. Uh, inlaid with the titanium as well and uh, let's see here what else do we have oh different areas where the carbon fiber is actually at. okay and this is um, this looks like brass yes it looks like brass with a little bit of aged uh, patina to it that's Correct. really nice actually it lends itself really well to the knife and I think that it that two-tone appearance with the as the patina really forms is gonna look awesome for the end user and the knife so Jordan, I saw you eyeing this over here on this side of the table. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. It always pulls me in. <laughs> all, all black, anodized blue hardware. Can't beat it. Nice black wash blade. It looks different from most of the uh, the other designs. What's the name on this one? This is the Cairo. Okay. All right. Nice. Ball bearings. Flip. It's very nice. Uh, I like that it's a bit of a departure, not only in just the overall look of the blade, but that it has that black wash to it. Um, you can also get it in a different blade shape, correct? Yes. Okay, so they have that kind of a, a modified, uh, like a clip point going into a Tato? Correct. Okay, that looks really nice. And it looks like they, uh, let me see here, looking at the, the pocket clip, uh, it looks like it can be both left and right hand carry, which is great. You don't see a lot of knives, especially newer knives going into the market that are, you know, uh, friendly for both the lefties and the righties. Although, as a righty, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that <laughs> some of them are just for the right hand. So, But if you are uh, of the other hand type, uh, <laughs> the Cairo is uh, the knife for you to check out. Even though it is a, uh, a frame lock on the right hand side, chances are, based on sales and popularity, maybe they'll make a left hand frame lock. Who knows? So this is the Cairo from Concept. So Jordan, it's a new company, it's a bunch of new knives, a lot of really cool concepts here. Yes. I've 
probably said concept 20 <laughs> times during here, but it's a very fitting name for this company and the blade designs. Huge shout out to Kim Ning and the rest of the team over there at Concept. And thank you, Jordan, for taking a moment to show me these knives. Hope you have a great SHOT Show 2020. Thanks, you Congratulations. Too.